Good evening, dandies. Welcome to Undetermined, the podcast. Okay. There you are. Yay. There we go. All right. Welcome, everyone, to Undetermined, the podcast. Special guest tonight from Jackalope Tales, the Toadies. And Soul uh, Shifter. And Soul Shifter. You know, do you guys like my shirt? Love I it. Say, not shirt. You love it? Yeah. And Matt's yeah, got I'm a cool gonna... cover back there. Yeah. I, I figured, well, these guys, these, they're from Texas, and you're from Texas. You guys um, might know them. Yeah. I, you know, I've met them all. They're probably better musicians than they are people, really, if that makes sense. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> Still, they rock it. No, sad. seriously. <laughs> Lisa of our Ed Charles Moody of uh, Soul Sugar. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. Appreciate it, John. Yeah. Matt. Absolutely. Yeah, we're really happy to have you guys back on. This time at the same time. I yeah. know, right? Yeah. And that makes uh, it uh, better. Yeah. Yes, you and Prove things in the works. You guys have your own podcast now. Oh, mm-hmm. we were inspired by y'all. Oh, <laughs> definitely. That's touch. <laughs> that is. <laughs> you got seriously like you really kind of helped us get our courage up to really get out there and go forward and take risks and be weird. And I appreciate it a whole lot. <laughs> really? I thought yeah. you were already doing that. You know what? You were like the first guess that anybody knew yeah, you know that, that we had that would draw attention to us yeah and so we were nervous about that and then you know it's kind of like do i want to who's gonna say yes to us and then right. you know we we're like lisa was really fucking cool let's try it with more people yeah and, and see, lo and behold they say yes a lot it's just really strange and then yeah, the I, pandemic helped us. and then i bring the quality up with a pickle dick discussion <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> and I'm like, this is exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> Push the envelope. <laughs> that made us. That made us. That put us on the map. <laughs> or on the Bon Jovi cutout. Yeah, Clausen. Anyway. I'm sure Clausen called you after that. <laughs> A sponsorship. <laughs> this episode is brought to you. <laughs> no. Uh, but tell us a little about uh, about the show and uh, about Jack of Tales. Yeah. Um, Charles and I had been talking about doing a podcast for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he probably even before we talked with y'all, but after talking with y'all going, you know, they're having so much fun doing that. We really need to do it. And, um, we, everywhere we go, we sit and tell stories and we're like, you know, we got to have some place to capture these stories that we tell because they're actually pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, kind of how it came. I know when we, there was some point where we, we started even thinking about it and it was like, I started making this long list of all this toady shit we could talk about. And then it was kind of like, well, you know, you start thinking big and then you start realizing what you got to fuck with to make it happen. Right. And then it suddenly like kind of fell away for a while and yeah. it was like, well, God, that just talking about the toadies puts us into such a narrow spot. Mm-hmm. I mean, because right. if they don't know the toadies, they're not going to give a damn. And right. Lisa, genius she is, came up with this idea to talk about urban legends of music. And it's like, and that way we can throw in our own experiences, make it personal because we have a lot of them, but yeah. that's, that's the little garnish on the main dish. So it worked out great. And yeah, also, stories. Go ahead. Yeah. And also we didn't know how to do a podcast Mm-mm. and what y'all do <laughs> is a lot of freaking work. People don't understand that doing a podcast is a uh, lot of work. The editing, the recording, all of the tech stuff. And hmm. I'm not yeah. good at that. Uh-uh. Uh, we're not either, apparently, because we don't know. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we just got brave enough to start video. Yeah, you know, you know. And... 
This no, you're fun. doing a good job. You're doing a good job. All of your sound good. Yeah. Quality is good. Um, Thank you. But um, we knew someone who was starting a podcast production company. Uh -huh. And I wrote up a business spec and pitched it to them. And they liked the first um, pitch. And so then we pitched it to a whole conference room of people. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> what bullshit. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Was it, like a bunch of, were they like old execs and shit? No, it was no? cool people. Cool so people. we were having to impress nice. cool people. Right. How and, do you, um, but, uh, yeah, how do you get then, their attention? You see, there's a spinning pickle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You just have we to have picture it. And when we were doing it, you could tell the one guy that kind of had his guard up. And like mm -hmm. we had to win that little motherfucker over. <laughs> right. Right. He's like, I'm going into this critical. Yeah. You got something wrong with this. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Come on. Yeah. Paid to be an authentic. Yeah. Right. right. And once we saw Any that he type. started he started started nodding. And yeah. once we saw that, we we're like, okay, I think we fucking got this. Right. And, nice. and he's, wow. he's a huge supporter. Yeah. Oh, cool. I freaking love him. Mm -hmm. um, Wicked Apple Media is doing all the the hard lifting, and we get to show up and spew our shit all over and yeah, have fun. They lift, and we nice. tell them where to put it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. Yeah, we wow. figured out a way to do the stuff that we like and not mm -hmm. do the stuff that we don't like. Right. So what's the point? If you like, I I, I really kind of learned this doing this. Like, if you're not having fun doing it, there's no point in doing it, right? Because no. it's you're not no. gonna like. We're not doing this for money. I yeah. wish you know that'd be nice if we made a little profit doing it, but yep. it's it's fun. And why would you do something like this if it wasn't fun? Right. Yeah. Sure right. I'd rather just watch horror movies. Or, you know, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I mean, honestly, no, I'm not talking to you guys. But no, we, <laughs> and we fucking love stories. So, you yes, know, and we, I think we've got that in common. Yes, we, and we yeah. like to get good stories out of people. And part of why it is what it is is because, you know, that we don't know where we're going to go, but that's always where mm -hmm. the best stories are. Yeah. yeah I was gonna, right? uh, you don't, you arrive at a good story. You don't force it yeah in my and, opinion hence the name of the show undetermined you know mm -hmm. we went back and forth on a title um so long we're like, what are you gonna call me you know what do we want to do do we want to talk about ufos and bigfoots do we want to talk about rock yes. stars do we want to talk about star wars do we want to talk about... yeah and it was like yeah all, all that shit <laughs> and uh, so i was like man what were you call it he's like mm, undetermined i was like that's perfect <laughs> 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 don't nail yourself down to one subject right uh, right yeah. but still i i like the theme and everything with jack will tell i mean you guys are my wednesday lunch every day oh uh, sure oh uh, thanks every, every week. i listen all the time i just love it yeah i i wash my Blair dishes stories. in the morning mm -hmm. oh it's so great yeah they told Thank us you. to clean up uh this month's episodes because we're trying to get a sponsorship with spotify so. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get How the fuck do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, just you you find those uh, synonyms for penis that don't mm. seem so mm -hmm. strict. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we were told that we talk about poop way too yeah. much. Oh, come on. Um, That's not enough. <laughs> and, uh... It's part of the character of the show. <laughs> 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 but i mean but I, I like that you guys too kind of the same you don't just stick to like super specific these are just legends you kind of feel around and find other things that are kind of related and can tie in pretty easily and fucked up shit because you know, musicians are really screwed up people oh yeah and they get a lot of money and so they can do <laughs> even more screwed up stuff and i love talking about them yeah. <laughs> well, and I, re and people, I remember right. when we were pitching it to them uh, that one of their concerns was, do you all have enough for some episodes? And it was like, you have no clue. <laughs> I mean, right. we've got yeah. shit that's going to last forever. And with the world the way it is, stuff's going to keep on happening right. for subject matter. It's a never ending uh, nature cycle. 
right something happens every week and, and you know it's also just with music in the 90s not seen it's like i was listening to some biggie earlier and it's like you know everybody's so mad at cardi b for being dirty but nobody gives a shit that biggie smalls recorded a record telling us how to sell crack you know <laughs> right <laughs> right it's like yeah it's like yeah that was cool but i think it was like right after we beat the pmrc you know uh -huh. so it's like they kind of backed off a little like mm -hmm. yeah yeah but it, it's it's yeah, off the chain. We haven't even we haven't even broached the PMRC yet. It's coming. Oh yeah, because that oh, really wow. fucked with all of us that are of that age that were really affected by censorship. It's coming because yeah. we we're getting ahead of steam for that. Good. Oh Good. man, I remember Tipper Gore, man, and uh, ah, it bugged me that like she was like married to a democrat but the, yep. the, no that didn't make sense it still doesn't make sense to me same yeah. oh i know i could not vote for al because i hated his wife so much from when i was <laughs> yeah. a kid. i'm yeah. serious about that same. i was like who knows if that bitch is going to show up sometime right. i'm sorry about my language and and start messing <laughs> with our music again no right. I, I will never forgive tipper gore for screwing with my music <laughs> well they got a divorce didn't they did and then they she died or something? I think I, so. Yeah. I mean, with all their relationship. Well, maybe. Too steamy, maybe. I think they I, split. I'll, <laughs> if she died, yeah. that could be a good thing for music. Could, yeah, I think she kind of given that? up on that. Sure. I don't care. You don't make any money, remember? I have, <laughs> <We> have Spotify. <laughs> people don't even know who we're talking about. Yeah, most people are tipper who? Right. What? Oh, I know. Right. Back when there was no rating on a record. Oh. Uh, mm. No. Yeah. So yes. when Charles and I, yes, when He's Charles and testimony. I were, right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it was great. It was great. Oh, so awesome. But Charles and I, I mean, the best example, we worked at Sound Warehouse and we had mm. to pull the Goo Goo Dolls albums. <laughs> the Goo Goo oh, Dolls geez. for Christ's <laughs> sake. For I mean, Oh yeah. yeah. So, because it's because of what label they were on. Oh, but at that time, though, Goo Goo Dolls weren't like this mainstream band. Nobody really they knew who they were then. Mm. They mm. weren't, but they pulled them mm. because of what label they were on, and we had to pull everyone that was on that label. What was the label, Charles? Uh that one. It was Metal Blade. Yes, was Metal, Metal Blade. Blade, they were on Metal Blade. Yeah, their first and if it one. It was a the... Metal Blade album. Yeah. Huh. And so, yeah. and then we uh, went through that whole thing where, like, with the two live crew cassettes, we had mm -hmm. uh, as nasty as they want to be and as clean as they want to be. <laughs> and we had clean as they want to be all the time, and all the nasties were sold out. <laughs> right. Nice. That, st that sticker would make me pick up a record so fast. That's why it backfired on. Uh -huh. yeah. it was like, ooh, you know, you saw That's... the sticker. It was like guaranteed cool. Oh, yes. You know? Right. <laughs> yeah. And you so put the sticker. I worked at a music store that nobody told me you can't sell it to them if it has the sticker on it, you know? And I'm yeah. okay, here you go, Don't kid. Worry. You know? Yeah. Well, <laughs> be careful. Well, I know. We I remember, gonna get in trouble? I remember yeah. one of the big arguments the too was because Walmart would not carry anything with an M rating, and mm -hmm. so the artists are like, "Y'all are trying to screw with sales because you're setting us up." But mm -hmm. like you said, it backfired. M's sold, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember buying. Well, getting a record for it was the South Park movie uh, soundtrack, which is a really good soundtrack. Mm -hmm. It's got like Ransom on there. It's got Ween on there. It's got some really cool songs. And I got it um, from my sister-in-law, but it was from Walmart. And I put it in, and it was all censored. Oh. It was just all black. And mm. I was like, "This sucks." <laughs> I took it back to Walmart. <laughs> I put it up on the shelves. Like, I need to return this. And they're like, "You don't have a receipt." I was like, well, it's a Christmas present, and I really don't like it. I don't like buying music from you guys. You know, and they're like, well, how do we know you didn't steal it? And I was like, well, please call the police and have them come over here. Immediately. <laughs> this this so CD I is a crime. I victimized <laughs> by this goddamn <laughs> And plus, risk jail time for the clean version. Right. I was like, if you really, no. if you really think I stole this, please arrest me. Or give me my money back so I can go over to sound biz and buy it. Uh, right. <laughs> right. The real version of this. Record. And it's weird yeah. where people go with like censoring shit. And I, like, I've, I've used this example before, but I still think it's like the most bizarre thing. When I was doing radio, 
mm-hmm. was like when live was hot and lightning crashes was a mm-hmm. big song mm-hmm. we had to play an edited version of lightning crashes that didn't say placenta what what <laughs> can you believe that is that not like the it. weirdest wow mm-hmm. yeah Jay god Zee, forbid but... Like we what falls before. But yeah. like they even made an edited version yeah. that didn't say placenta. Like, <laughs> ooh, we don't want to wow. piss off. I don't know who they're trying to avoid pissing off. Uh, I don't know either. And it's like, you know, even with Pink Floyd, and I love Pink Floyd, don't get me wrong, but, you know, money would come on. And it's like, radio would have no problem say, don't give me that, do get a good bullshit. You know, and it's like, well, we can't break up that part because it's a cool part of the song. Right. You know, but if a black guy does it, you know, in the capacity or anything, it's like, bloop. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they just piss me off a lot. <laughs> now I, will... I want to write a placenta song, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's a good title. Just title right there. Placenta. The placenta <laughs> song. <laughs> it's like the name of a metal band. <laughs> It, needs to be, <laughs> it would be a good metal yeah. band. But I also, I'm hearing placenta song is like a polka. Yeah. I can feel it. I can feel that. Oh, Lord. that. Give my patent on that project. Too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, hey. I got a little Fort Worth thing to mention. Uh, so Matt's brother called me the other day and I'm, you know, driving around around his mirror. So I'm like, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm driving all over Hell's Half Acre and I don't know uh, where I'm supposed to find. He's like, what are you talking about? I was like, Hell's Half Acre. And then he was like, I have no idea what that is. And I was like, I don't either. <laughs> I said it just means like all over like the rougher parts of, of like town, you know. Then I looked up, and it's a Fort Worth thing, right? Hell's half acre. Have you heard that? I don't yeah. know. I've heard the it phrase. Like, I know was, the phrase. Yeah, it, it it turns out that it was like the worst part of like Fort Worth during the eighteen eighties, like during the uh, you know beginning of the West. It's like it, you don't go to like Hell's mm-hmm. half acre. Uh, the white elephant. Is that it? Yep. That and, saloon. Uh, the saloon. The saloon. Yeah. Saloon. Yeah. yeah. That was that was like the center of the area. But I've never been to Fort Worth, so I don't know. Oh, like, you know. Billy Bob's is down like there, the stockyards. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. You guys should come to Fort Worth, and we'll take you there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we need to. We really need to. There's a lot Do of places shots. we need to go, but yeah. How about those? <laughs> Half acre. <laughs> <laughs> we do have um man did you were you able to get that jackalope tail that we have i do so sure you know you? i kind of thought it would be fun to kind of mm-hmm. flip the script you, you guys talk about a lot of stories from the load let uh from the toadies perspective yep. i have a story in which the toadies are the villain in this story (laughs) and i'm gonna you may have heard this before it's from friends of ours you guys remember truck stop love oh yeah out of kansas yeah yep so uh this is what they were uh we were in a contest with them yeah we're gonna talk about that let's do it all right all right (laughs) this will take a few minutes uh we have a ton of stories that we could tell about disappointing yes. people with our image. Let's hear some of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, we could talk about MTV. We could talk about ABC in concert. We could talk about all of the, the times where our label or somebody was counting on us to, like, yeah. really deliver. And all we did was go out and fuck it up. <laughs> let's let's hear know. about fucking up MTV. <laughs> let's start, yeah, start let's there. We'll start with MTV. So we... We won this contest, and so we got, we had to go to Dallas to play in this band contest. I think it was Arlington. So to speak. Mm-hmm. Was it Arlington? Well, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Outside of Dallas. Same area, yeah. So we get, you know, the night before, we just played a show in Manhattan. It got completely blasted and had to leave <laughs> early in the morning. That's yeah. a long-ass drive. Right. And uh, we're shotgun of beers in the van all the way down there 
we get to the room and pretty much everybody passes out. And then the next day we get over to the, I think it was this big auditorium mm-hmm. and started getting told what to do by the stage hands or whatever. So we just pretty much said, <laughs> fuck you guys and laughed. <laughs> and so we go back to the hotel and of course get, we're drinking all day and we get back over to the, when we're supposed to play and <laughs> find out it's a, it's a mother's against <laughs> drunk driving. Oh no. Sponsoring it. <laughs> <laughs> we drive. No, we yeah. are sober drivers. Well, Someone else driving us, yeah. But we pulled that's up good. in the van and, and we open up the side door of the van and all these beer cans come beer crashing cans out. Out. And there's there's literally oh. like uh, you know, two two cars <laughs> smashed against each other and some sort of like right. you know, oh, yeah. statue what out front when you drink and to drive. Yeah. Well, I'm sure those mothers are against drinking in general. I mean, yeah, they don't like drunk driving, but no, I mean, yeah, it would have been nice if someone would have told us that, but we were just doing our thing. Well, and you then, would just think anybody putting something together with that, with any kind of musician, yeah. you might check first. <laughs> yeah. So what happened? Well, we, we, we did, we had a huge, Rich has hit on something kind of normal for Truck Stop Love, which is uh-huh. a huge chip on our shoulder. And like being from Manhattan, you know, even in Kansas, it's not the cool city. And so like right. when we went out of town, we had an even bigger chip. And, um, you know, we got there and they were like, you know, you have these rules and these rules and the curtain opens mm-hmm. here and you have to stand here. And when this band is on, yeah. you have to be ready and blah, blah, blah. Except there was another band that was on that bill that was fourth and they were not having to follow those rules. There were four bands, but three of us were like being briefed and being yelled at all day. And then they said the fourth band is going to show up later because they're recording yeah. a demo for a major label uh, right now and they can't be bothered with you guys and they're just going to wow. show up last and they're going to play <laughs> oh, yeah. they're called the yeah. toadies <laughs> <laughs> oh really so, we were actually so, yeah. friends <laughs> no it's great yeah they were we didn't meet them that night i'm sure they're really nice people if i was them i would have come in and played the show and left just like they did because right. it was a jackass but from our perspective they were like you know fated to win anyway right. of course they won right so it's like whatever we just assumed uh, oh, this is even more rigged but we got hammed and we were like <laughs> pissing on the stage and we were like like, right. like when the curtains closed we were like like literally turned around and like pissed <laughs> on the stage because we were so mad and then like all of our friends right. came up front to rock out <clears throat> and they kicked them out and they said you have to go back and sit down in your seats and so we what? were pissed and we we took our shirts off and we like <laughs> turned it up as loud as we could and mapped wow. our guitar on stage and uh, right. it was just a shit show, but we had so much fun pissing thing. them off. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like one of our first guests was uh, yeah, Lisa Umbarger, the bassist from Tony's. Oh, yeah. She would have been in the band then. That was the original lineup. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know, like, Chuck Booney and maybe, maybe Booney Chuck Booney, uh, uh, yeah. Matt, uh, Matt Winchell. Yeah. They, trust me, they'd find it funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah. They I, would. I'm sure if they heard our if they heard our side of the story, okay. they would be right yeah, there. They with will. Us being like, <laughs> yeah, they will. Yeah. For no, sure. I promise they'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, maybe I don't know if they're going to recognize this, but we can tell tell you. Hey, Toadies, it was called MTV's oh. Rockin' <laughs> Campus Bash. All right. All right. All right. And we ended up hanging out with Steve Isaacs, the VJ, all night because he was like, yeah. "You guys remind me of my friends. You guys have a drinking problem." <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't it funny how, like, you know, in 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 every band's journey, they have like this, you know, this these set of stories that they tell themselves right. that kind of reinforce who they are. And the Toadies probably had no idea that, like, in our little dumb band story that they like were mythologized in this way of, you know, the band that came right. in, didn't have to follow the rules, won the, the competition, villain, right. and, then, and then scored a major label deal. Right. So they honest. were the villain. Yeah, right, and she's villains. telling us stories about, <laughs> right. like, getting fucked around by yep. Bush <laughs> when right. she's on the road with them. She rolls down the hill. I'd love so, to hear yep. that. Your Different levels. Hill. But, I mean, you know, we're, we were all in the same – we were all in the same deal, you know, touring in the van and making no money and sleeping on the floor. So there's, it's impossible to like hold a grudge against right. anybody for, for stupid yeah, shit. Like it, that. Is. it is a pretty funny story. <laughs> oh, man. So, Eric, Eric and Rich. So this is pretty funny and <laughs> because we weren't recording demos for a major label okay. that day. It was like out of pocket and we had studio time set up that we paid for. And we didn't really want to do this contest. Um, someone entered us in this contest. Yeah. Do you remember this, Charles? No, I do. So one, 
one, someone that we don't know entered us in this contest. And to this day, we still don't know who entered us in this really? stupid contest. Yeah. And we get this notification that we made it to the next round and we're like, whatever. Um, <laughs> it was just kind of, we, we didn't want to do band competitions because we lost so many battle no. of the band things and we didn't want to do another battle of the bands. It was stupid. And so we told MTV that we weren't going to do it, that we have studio time booked already and we can't cancel. We can't lose our money. So they're, because they were telling us all those rules and we're like, well, we're just not going to do it. We're <laughs> yeah. just not going to do it. And, um, and they're like, well, you got to do it. And we're like, we, we, we have the studio time. <laughs> yeah. And so they're like, listen, you got, we'll put you on last. Cause we told them our studio time ends here. We're going to be in Dallas. It's going to take us a while to get to Fort Worth and load up. And they said, we'll put you on last and you're going to have to go on right when you get there. So we had to break down everything when we got done with the studio, race over there as fast as we could, yeah. throw everything. I mean, we got there and they're like, come on, come on. And throwing our shit on the stage. And we didn't even have time to like grab a drink of water. And we had to play the show that we didn't want to fucking play. <laughs> so because we didn't give a fuck, I mean, yeah. we had a really good show. And plus we were in the studio all day. Yeah. Um, Just tired. But we did not want to do it. We thought we were going to lose. There was a band from El Paso. Um, I can't think of who it is. I can't remember. But yeah. they actually went on and got signed. I can't remember. But anyway, this band, they're they're kind of like fastball. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah um, I saw them open for Squeeze not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah and, cool. yeah. and so they, we thought they were going to win because that was the band that we saw play. Mm-hmm. And uh, we didn't see any of the other bands. We don't know anything else that was happening at all. We just know that we came in through the back door. They're, they like hurried us up, set up our shit, and we played 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. May, they if threw that us. Long, I, really I think cool. I've even got the video of our interview on my YouTube page. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they just, I mean, we played, they threw us down, and they made us do this interview with. Some long-haired doofus. That's an Isaac guy. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, he seemed all right. But, yeah, it was just our heads were spinning from just having a full day. Yeah. Of so. And we were a little pissed because we didn't want to be there. <laughs> they <laughs> kind of, like, you know, <laughs> I want to, like, track down all the other bands that were at this now and, like, get their story because, be like, book. your really story should. is so widely different right. from the, and they're both totally accurate stories, yeah. And this, yeah. but they're such very different perspectives yeah. on the whole And this thing. was... Yeah. I kept trying to back out. And that, yeah. and that, that one, that's one we actually won because... Mm, so they were right. Yeah, and, and then I... <laughs> Wasn't that the one where we ended up going to Daytona Beach? Yeah. Yeah, for and, the... Right, so we won, and I cried, because I was like, what? This is the first time we've ever won anything. And wow. I seriously cried. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because I thought mm-hmm. we were going to go play the show, and it's was like, okay, we're done. And I was wanting to head out and get something to eat. And yeah. and we hung around, cause, and we won. <laughs> And we got it's, to hang yeah. out with Polly Shore. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that is a... Oh, yeah. It's, it's a, so, it's so weird how MTV just clouded everybody's... I mean, we thought, really, anybody that MTV approached or was on MTV, they obviously approached you with a suitcase with a million dollars in it and said, here you go. And then they put you in a limo and took you to a mansion and <laughs> it was like, that's why you're on MTV, right? And it's yep. like, no, that's not the experience. They anymore. gave us rock and campus bash shirts. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, <laughs> and we went to Daytona and they put us up in a really nice hotel. We got to see the LA Guns play. Yeah. Um, Back with Stacy and all that. Yeah. And um, then we played a contest there from everybody in the United States and we lost to a Metallica cover band. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. A metal band. Oh, yeah. but, uh, How does that happen? I don't know. And, and the prize, the prize, 
was you got to stay a day longer in Daytona and <laughs> open for, and you got to open for Primus. Oh, well, I mean, that, that would have been, been cool. Ass. But it's still just like your prize is not getting paid to open for Primus. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah. then again, again, we didn't care. All no, these I mean, other bands were really good. We mostly just got drunk and were laughing and trying to get our pictures taken with famous people. Like we saw Polly Shore. Polly Shore was totally coked out. <laughs> Remember? Remember, Charles? I do. Yeah. Oh, God. We're going to send yeah. you a picture. We're going to send you a picture from the Rock and Bash because there's yes. a picture of Charles <laughs> and I um, sitting near a fountain yeah. waiting to go mm. on at this stupid rock and bash bullshit. And <laughs> and I look like the biggest dumbass tourist because I've got a camera. <laughs> it's like... Is that, I'm glad to see it. Is that the one where your hair was dyed blonde? Oh yeah, so always like had the shorter, backward cap yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. back when yeah. it was there, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so mm. I'll, I'll post that picture and send it to y'all yeah. because, uh, but it was, you know, I know. That really soured. <laughs> we did not want to ever do contests, and I think that was the last one we did. Is that true? Yeah. We didn't do contests after that because we didn't want to do contests. I'm trying to remember, did the Hollywood one come after that, or was it before? It was before that okay. because Tracy was in the band, right? Yes. You're right. You're right. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've always hated that battle of the bands. I mean, music is so subjective. It's stupid to make it a competition. Yeah, it absolutely is. I, you know, I think I, we used to actually have, I told him back when I was in school, we had a battle of the bands in my little high school. So we should just call it the showcase of the bands. You know, why yeah, mm-hmm. does somebody have to win? Yeah. And, oh man, a lot more people showed up. There was, it was a lot, you know, easier going for the bands. And there wasn't a competition, just like a little, you know, local concert for the kids who could play music. Yeah. Right. Well, it should be. The only good thing out. is the the second place money that we won in several of the local mm. uh, battle of the bands funded, you know, mixtapes. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Funded the so studio we time that you stiffed MTV for. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know we uh, actually, we, yeah. When I was going to TCU, we played two battle of the bands and that's what paid for our dig a hole. I hope you die cassettes. So mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. It help every nice. now and then. Silver mm-hmm. linings, but we were still Silver cynical lines. about it, <laughs> right? <laughs> and that recording mm. time that we did that we were late for the bash. Uh, there was a Christmas party that one of the studios threw that we loved to record in. That we did the "I Hope You Die" at, and um, mm-hmm. they invited us to their Christmas party, and they had uh, a contest where you fill out fill out a little card and you win studio time well mm-hmm. no one was filling out those cards everyone was at the bar getting their free drinks mm. so i sat for 30 minutes <laughs> and i kept writing down toadies oops <laughs> see god was after me on that um, he was. but i <laughs> but Cheater. i wrote our name down on a card for 30 minutes remember that charles uh, yeah I, I remember coming over there and going what are you doing <laughs> mm. <laughs> so i didn't drink i gave up alcohol that night so we could mm. get um five hours of studio time yeah yeah and we won five oh, hours of studio yeah. time and for a band that's like insane so yeah um yeah. that's oh, what yeah. we were or at least to... in those times man it's mm-hmm. so different now i mean you can do like near studio quality stuff at home now yep yeah it's oh yeah crazy. i've got a guy i've got a guy here in columbia missouri uh jt and he's got his own i mean just because of what we can do with technology now he's got his own like studio setup it's like 30 dollars an hour uh. for uh That's you know sweet. vox and it's like i mean, yeah. remember when that was 180 or you know 225 oh wow. and then you had yeah. to buy the reel to reel tape right i mean yeah. it Almost it wasn't blood. just like they could store it on the computer yeah yeah, yeah. that was right. And most of the time your tech is like doing one headers behind the dumpster and coming back <laughs> <laughs> you know? yes yeah the good old days yeah. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, I think I, I still have the copy of the receipt that we got for recording uh, the Velvet cassette, and it's like $800, mm. $900 for back mm. then. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not cheap. No. So much money, man. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> you got any teasers for what's coming up on the show? Mm? Or can you? Or no? Or... Well, we just so- sent. We just finished, uh, yeah, uh, the ones we just did this past Wednesday. Uh, Mm -hmm. We talked about uh, people who have actually died during performances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Oh, God. They all start to be a blur. Let's say. Well, and they're out of order from when we record them. So some Mm -hmm. of the ones that we first recorded haven't even been released yet. So, um, but we have a, a special Halloween episode coming up. Um, yeah. Ghost stories. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. And, uh, like a lot. But yeah, mostly it's dude. just like uh, people that we hate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No. Well, um, <laughs> good entertainment, so, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because. I mean, we'll kind of get ideas of topics, and then it's just like the flood of stuff we can choose from. It's like, holy crap. I mean, it's like, yeah. we just, for people that died on stage, we could have four episodes. I mean. Yeah. But, and it fills your shit up, and it's like, and then you forget mm-hmm. about some of it, and it's like, it's, you know. What it's for sure. Like. Yeah. 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 We also have one that's, uh, uh, musician you know how it runs in the family like your dad's in a band and all the mm. prodigy all the kids that are in bands mm-hmm. which uh iron maiden they have a lot of kids in bands those guys i didn't know that yeah that's interesting yeah yeah um i have a question okay yeah. how close are you to like stevensville uh We're close yeah Close, close. Yeah, about. Do you, do you have any stories related to the infamous Stevensville UFO case, or you know the case of the? Uh, do you guys recall that? Did it hit the news? No, there? I don't. No. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Tell All right. us now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to open a new tab in order to get some uh, information on it. Right. Stevensville. Well, he's looking that up. Yes, I have been now. to the Landers Theater. You may have been there too, John. I'm not sure. I know yeah, 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 yeah. It's Springfield. Right the uh, haunted theater yes. in Springfield. Did you hear a baby mm-hmm. crying? I didn't, but those stories were there 30 years ago. Yeah. So. Yeah. I I had a girl who went to uh, school there at Brewery tell me that she was pushed there on the stairs. Yeah. You know what? Mm-hmm. I think I do know somebody that had like, or they were there late at night and it got real creepy. Have um, Springfield has a lot of ghost no. stories. It, actually, yeah. have y'all ever had any paranormal experience? Maybe. Uh, yeah. I think so. I you know, know. I'll see you. Definitely okay. weird. I don't know. You want to go first, John? You want me to? I don't care. Oh well, I did find something on Stevensville. Let me bring okay. this up real quick. Let's do okay. That. So, 15 years ago, UFO sightings rocked a small Texas town. The mystery remains. Um. No capital of the world down there in Stevensville. Uh, <coughs> but uh, Steve Allen, I guess this is the guy who cited it first, it was like he claimed that the UFO was about the size of a super Walmart. He said it was, you know, monstrous. <coughs> uh, floating over the heads. And this guy was like a local uh, like first responder. He was a pilot. Mm-hmm. He was all these things. And, I mean, pretty straight dude, you know. Um and he claimed that like F-16 jets came in hot pursuit. Let's see what date this was. This was 2008. Wow. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Huh. It, is, it is one of the most infamous sight, sightings of UFOs due to the sheer number of witnesses. Um, there was, you know, tons and tons of people coming. Like 500 people came to a town hall. Um, that they conducted about it to say what the hell was this? They were getting no really? answers. Um, yeah, from the uh, Air Force or, or anybody. Um, uh, but yeah, a lot of people seeing reddish orange bubbles and giant 
uh, UFOs as on 2008. But I guess they were complaining that a lot of people came down from Fort Worth and were making fun of the locals, you know? <laughs> uh, like on the newscast. I didn't do it. <laughs> so, like, yeah. But I was like, okay, so it must be near there. You know? yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's they really well. University really there. Wild. Um, <laughs> so, huh. that's freaking awesome now i gotta figure it out so what i'm guessing is there's so much screwed up stuff happening in texas that right ufos are just kind of like whatever par for the course you know. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> I, I love it was the size like of a super wooded. walmart <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> not not just a Walmart, but a super not just a regular Walmart. Yeah. You know, a, a super center. A super yeah, center in that, size. Americans will that, avoid all measurements, you know, exactly. to compare it to something else. Oh, don't get into kilograms or anything. Our oh, yeah. mm, no. No. I mean, our news usually covers like uh which town has the most truck nuts on their car. <laughs> um, <laughs> So we don't get to hear the good stuff uh, like UFOs. Mm-hmm. Oh, you hear wow. about truck nuts and whatever. There's immigrants. That's an album title, Truck Nuts, truck and, nuts and Immigrants. Truck Nuts and Immigrants. <laughs> I'd listen. I, I, I would click on it for sure. <laughs> I do have, well, I have a UFO story I told before, um, but, okay, it was a long time ago, my wife and I were sitting, and, and we were dirt poor, young, living in this trailer mm-hmm. in the middle of nowhere, Missouri, um, my God, Matt, we were, what, 30 miles from a gallon of milk? Yeah, you know, it was the middle a hall to get out nowhere. there, but that area was kind of creepy and haunted, it was. too. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot of ghost stories about that place, and it's got some legends. Too. It's called yeah. Peace Valley. Peace Valley, Missouri, if you can find it on that. I mean, what, Resident 12, maybe? Yeah, it, wow. there? I don't know. Teeny tiny. Um, but my parents got, you know, got a little 40 acres out there, and, you know, they were trying to, you know, starve a horse, but <laughs> never bought one. Um, <laughs> uh Texas S joke there. But anyway, I'm sitting there. I'm looking out the back window one day and we, we were so broke we like had no TV. I mean we had no satellite, nothing. Nothing to do but just like listen to music. Um so I'm looking out the back window and all of a sudden this giant like basketball size. Well, I'd say I mean in the window it's like this big. It's light pow, shows up and for a second I'm just like, okay, maybe it's like a plane flying over or whatever. My wife comes in and she's like, What the hell is that? And I said, I don't know, maybe I should have that line. Went outside, looked out back, and all of a sudden I saw these like red orange balls, just like a lot of people report, like zipping across the tree line uh, on the back 40. And I could see like the tops of the tree branches, you know, like the shadows be- with a red light behind them. And these mm-hmm. things were like going this way, this way. Mm-hmm. My parents lived on the same property, they had a house, as you know, like I say, we were poor we were <laughs> on their 40 acres. So I look up at the house, and my dad is on the porch. I was like, hey, look at that. He looks at it, and he sees the same thing, but then they just, like, sipped off so fast. I mean, just like everybody describes, in a way I've never seen anything move. Even an insect move in my life so fast. He looked at me, and I was like, did you see that? And my dad was a minister, you know, and he just kind of looked at me and smiled and went, and he went back to the house. <laughs> and I was like, bullshit, you can't do that. And he's like, you just act like it didn't happen. You know? And I questioned him the next morning. He's like, you can't do that. You can't just say you didn't see it and smile. I know you saw it. But he wouldn't admit it. And I think that's how it is for a lot of people. Well, you know, they just, yeah. nope, I'm never telling anybody I saw that sort right. of thing. Yeah. I'm never going to admit. And uh, I may have seen it, but I'm quitting seeing shit. <laughs> you know, right? You know, and even when you do tell your own stories that you're like, I'm brave enough to tell this story, you, yeah. you even put it with the caveat, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, I do that yeah. all the time, right? And I, I don't. can't tell you what it was. Yeah. And I do have a problem with the ergo. You know, I won't say ergo, they were aliens from another planet. I can't say that. But I can say that I saw some manufactured lights moving in a way that I don't think people can move. 
you know, and that's the Which forest. is a UFO. I mean, Which is an unidentified flying object. Exactly. Uh, you know? uh, my grandpa yep. was a pilot in the Air Force. He flew in three wars, World mm -hmm. War II, uh, Vietnam, and Korea, right? Wow. So mm -hmm. he was up there a lot. He saw stuff. He swears he saw UFOs. But he had really, really, really high security clearance uh, in the Pentagon. Mm. And um, we would, during the holidays, we would get him drunk, like pour him a lot of shots <laughs> and, uh, and like totally interrogate him. Like, so about mm -hmm. these UFOs. Uh, mm -hmm. And he would never give it yeah. up. He would not give mm. it up. Oh. He, would not, he would not deny it. He would not deny it at all. So we're like, we know it's real. So if you say... <laughs> If you say this, that means yes. <laughs> like he would never. Right. He would He's never. Like, I can give neither it up. confirm nor deny. He's doing a press yep. conference the whole time, no matter how loaded he was. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, I mean, he would be super <clears throat> like falling over drunk, and he would just right. get really close, and then he was like, "I can't, I cannot tell you guys uh, yeah. about this." That's. I mean, come on, is that not just admitting? You know. Yes. <laughs> right. right. To our right. Exactly. Brains. Either yeah, that or he just had a like twisted sense of humor and he just <laughs> having that gag going like I can't tell you. Right. Right. I'd have to kill I wish you, you would have. I wish you would have because we we you know we wanted to know about Area 51 and and all of that shit. And we figured yeah. he probably knew something. Right. And he for sure saw stuff. So we're like, come on, man. Is it is it Russia? Because back then he had the Cold War. Right. Is it Russia or is it aliens we gotta know mm. he would not tell us you know right mm. right well we got a friend who's like a old fbi guy and mm. Uh, mm. people ask him about that shit all the time all and he was like I, I i've never actually seen anything <laughs> you know i'm in the fbi is really fucking broad you know yeah. it doesn't you i was not involved in the space alien shit you know right. so <laughs> I couldn't tell he worked in like he worked in like domestic terrorism I'm like he was he, you know, he did some cool shit and he's yeah, got really cool shit he was like one of the guys behind like a, uh figuring out the okc bombing and all that yeah Ooh, yeah and enron he was in on... yeah enron he uh, loves trust busting and you know He's a cool dude. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Crockett Oaks. Crockett Oaks. Yeah. Colonel Crockett Oaks. Colonel. Yeah. Anyway, Crockett. yeah, he, he anyway. had a lot of good stories. Uh, I lost where I was going with that, though. I don't know. Um, no, he would tell people, like, he would just kind of fuck with people <coughs> when uh, <laughs> when they would ask him, you know, I, do, I, I can't I can't tell you. I'm sorry, I don't have the... I'm sorry, I, I don't have the... <laughs> Uh, to talk, you know, because that, and I would do that too. You know, if I were him, yeah. I'd just be like, "Yeah, that's too much fun." No. Right? Uh -huh. well, I can see him doing it. We all kind of <laughs> are doing that right now. Yeah. Um, as podcasters. Yes. Yeah, yeah. To a degree, you are. You know, mm -hmm. so well, well, you guys also try and come out. You know, I think this is bunk. I don't. I think this. There's something to this one. You know, yeah. and I think that. Yeah. That we don't want to be sued. Yeah. <laughs> we don't make any money, so we don't care. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can't bleed a turnip. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's the whole premise of the show. Just jackalope tale, right? Yeah, right. It's a Texas yeah. tale that we're spinning and, um, yep. or yep. someone else spun and we heard it and picked it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Have you come across any that you were like, surprise to debunk or anything or like ah shit i really thought that was true like my whole life hmm. yeah there were and i can't think which one well i really did think that um lizzo fell on stage dove and smashed someone and killed him <laughs> she didn't she didn't. <laughs> okay. That's good. Because it was all over the internet. It was everywhere. And I was like, it's everywhere. It's got to be true. It turns oh. out it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> yeah, Kate, we need to give John a minute here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I think it's uh, it's just so fun to just uh, like dig in and you've got uh, I mean, what comes to mind is uh, Mick Jagger and the Mars bar. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like one I was like, 
do I want to, you know, and I thought about, <laughs> should I look, look up stuff I, I, to right. like bring up on the show? But, and that was one that the Mars bar with, uh, with, oh. um, Marianne Faithful. Marianne Faithful. Yeah. 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 Our buddy Johnny drummed for him, for her. Yeah. 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 Johnny, yeah. Really? Johnny Boyle. Yeah. Yeah. We know a guy who drummed for her, uh, from the frames, uh, Johnny yeah. Boyle. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, I, wow. but I love well, it when I mean you get all these opposing views, all these opinions, and I love mm -hmm. it not being solved. I mean, right. it's just yeah. kind of like this is what we can find about it, and y'all take it. And if you really think someone ate a chocolate bar out of her, um, <laughs> Too far. yeah, yeah. Huh? Well, oh, oh yeah, her yeah. whisker biscuit, yeah, then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then, right. Then so be it. <laughs> well, that would be, you know, and they call those biscuits over there too. So. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they do. Sick. <laughs> well, I mean, we we haven't even started on the stories that were told to us um, uh, when yeah. we were on the road because our uh, uh, sound guy uh, toured with Guns and Roses. Uh, yeah, he was with Guns and Roses. And um, for years and years and years and years. And so you want to hear some stories about shit that happened backstage? <laughs> right. Holy cow, man. Some of the stuff we can't say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was I can just... imagine. But, um... oh, and oh, if, if you do ever ask, I really want to know if it's true. There is a story of uh, Faith and Moore touring with them and Mike Patton pooping in actual shoes. Um, <laughs> oh my god! I know he. I, he I know he didn't like Guns and Roses. So no, he didn't. He did not get along with them. And yeah, he, I said there's a story going like they all. There's the only way to really get back at Axel is to you know just prank him as much as they could. Ah, uh, until it really pissed off. But I've heard that one that he pooped in his shoes. I also heard that uh, Mike Pat one time took a blow up doll into a truck stop restroom. Covered it in a jar of mayonnaise, poked a hole in it after it was blown up, and tried to flush it down the toilet about three times. <laughs> so it flooded the bathroom. Uh, of course, they get back on the bus and drive away. And you never knew what happened, but somebody had to walk in. Uh, I would no, I would be that. Adult 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 I would be trying to tell that before. story. And whoever had to clean it up, right? They're still telling <laughs> There's that. There's got to be somebody telling that. Oh my God, let me tell you about one. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you are wasted. Yeah. Yeah. I swear, oh, it God. really happened. It really. <laughs> it also, uh, our tour manager was in Jim Rose Circus. Mm -hmm. His name is Marky Ray, and there's some more stories there. Holy crap! Oh, I bet. When you get to meet, when you get to meet the circus circus freaks, and they they come backstage and do their little performance. Um, oh yeah, we're Joe friends Lifto, with, uh, we... with Joe Lifto, with Mr. Lifto. He's... Mr. Lifto? Yeah, he's been on the show like yeah, two or yeah, three yeah. times. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Lifto him. came to uh, one of our shows. I can't remember uh, where because he's friends with Marky, but um, mm -hmm. I can't remember which member of Jim Rose Circus came back. And they have this this special part of the Jim Rose Circus called the Dick Circus, <laughs> and um, and he would of course take out his dick and with his mm -hmm. dick he would make he was like this one is the windsurfer and he would make it oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Surfer. penis puppetry yeah yes mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I and, show. And, yeah yeah and so How he would do it? dick circus and uh, <laughs> and we got to, we got to witness that i remember the windsurfer yeah. the cheeseburger <laughs> uh, <laughs> God dang it. That's the only two I can remember now. There were like 20 of them. I was like, how did you figure this out? Oh my God. <laughs> and it was just, just so I... uncomfortable. Yeah. I can't imagine sending the boss being like, you know, I need some new material. Uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> that kind of looks like it. <laughs> uh, uh, Might have been Joe Rowling. <laughs> he's hilarious. He really is. Nah, he's a good guy. <laughs> so, I have a mystery that I wanted to ask you guys about. It's a it's a soul shifter mystery, oh. right? And uh, it's just the mystery of Steve. <laughs> I cannot figure that guy out. 
<laughs> there's no figure in that guy. Honestly. No. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> he's, he's just an amalgam um, of confusion. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I don't think, I don't know him super well. We, you know, interact from time to time, but I don't think you would be offended by me asking that. <laughs> in fact, okay. I think he loves that. So um, yeah. he's, the, yeah. he's like his his real life persona is this good, solid citizen. He used to be a pilot for American Airlines. Now he's a mm-hmm. paramedic, but he's like this, you know, super straight lace, good guy. Like right. mm-hmm. if you have a flat tire and you're alongside of the road, he's the guy that's going to stop yeah. and help you. That's Steve, mm-hmm. or you know, mm-hmm. whatever, or something. Something's going on. You call him; he will show up. Yeah, but That's when awesome. he becomes Dirty Steve, dirty he plays Steve, yeah. right. he plays guitar. <laughs> I don't know what happens. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh no! So I mean, about- he and I really complement each other because our playing styles are mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. totally different. He loves music that I hate. I mean, yeah, and it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, and that's what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. he's he's the hair metal guy, you know, and these are like the three main things I know about yeah. him. Right, yeah. loves hair metal. Mm-hmm. Right, he loves fishing, <clears throat> and he loves a certain movie, which we're gonna have to talk a little <laughs> bit more about when we're. Oh God! Yeah, that's oh, a, that's gun. Steve in a nutshell. Yeah, <laughs> he has watched Top Gun. At least what five hundred times? Oh, that's mm-hmm. no, peculiar. No, if not, times. yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. So we make fun of him because just think of how odd it is sitting in a firehouse with all of those dudes <laughs> watching Top Gun over and over and right. over and over. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of jokes, and he gets kicked in the nuts about it a lot <laughs> by all of us. Uh, right because it's like the weirdest thing to like have you know i've seen top gun a thing as a thing maybe yeah. a thousand times right mm-hmm. and you know part of you is like i don't know if i'm impressed or a little bit sad <laughs> right because it kind of makes me a little bit sad that you anybody's yeah. seen that that many times but on another hand i'm like it's kind it's dedication i appreciate yeah. that yeah. And then on the yeah. other hand i'm like is he a silver serial killer <laughs> you know he could yeah. be yeah it could be because i mean it kind of serial... seems like the weird shit that a serial killer would be <laughs> Right, watch Top Gun, you know, world record of times, and we'll help you change your tire on the side of the road. <laughs> Think about that. Well, we can't, he has never invited any of the band members to his house. No. We, <laughs> he has yeah, a, I give him shit about that all the time. <laughs> we give him shit all the time. Or, or like, he lives close to the lake, and we, we want to go fishing with him. And yeah. he never invites us. And I think mm. it's because he's hiding a manifesto. Yeah. And he's hiding the bodies. Yeah. Or the bodies. It's the bodies. <laughs> yeah. yep. I, I tried to invite him uh, on that episode with the Network Chat. So maybe we had, yeah. uh, when I had them on, we had a bunch of tech difficulties with that. Man, I had an editing nightmare. But Steve kept trying to get on his Wi-Fi. Wasn't working. But I can tell you when he's frustrated with something, he's funny as hell. Because I could hear him and he couldn't hear me. And it's like. <laughs> this goddamn wife and i'm just doubled over uh i told us like don't worry about it <laughs> we'll catch up some other time oh, so but he's a cool but i guy. love yeah. him i love yeah. him he's such a yeah. good good person oh and, um, yeah yeah. Love his playing too, man. It's oh, so yeah. rare to find those guys who are still into that. You know, that eighties kind of and the you know, big fan of rat and uh yeah, some other bands that I really dig too. So and like Motley Crue. Rat Motley and Crue. Motley Crue. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's why I love him too, because I want I don't want everyone liking the same music I like. It makes no. it right. fun. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I, mean, I need someone fun. to make fun of. <laughs> yeah. And you know like, what? You have to be genuine. You have to be genuine in some manner yeah. to be able to say, you know what? I still rock the hair metal. Oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks. And you like, you know, tip of the hat to that because mm-hmm. yep. it can be awkward sometimes. 
Oh, yeah. There's something sweet and enduring about it. But then I guess he could, like, you know, come right back at me because Star Wars. And I got Star right. Wars tattoos and it's like all that shit that I loved when I was young. Still, <laughs> yeah, right? I know, right? <laughs> I mean, mm. kind of like hair metal, Star Wars is all kind of the same kind of crap. <laughs> And that that kind of brings me back to legend on you, Lisa, that I don't know if you want to talk about here or if you want to save it for your own podcast. Because I, I was like, man, I really want to bring that up, but I don't want to like break anything either. We won't break anything because we're not going to, I mean, who knows if it's a jackalope tail or not, but um, oh. it is on the official Star Wars website. I was an Ewok. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and it's on the website, so it's official. Uh, um, not like Wikipedia, like on the like internet, on the official. Real. You can't put it if it's not oh, real. I, do you have that? Some, do you have it printed out, like on your wall or something? I I would screenshot it at least. My before. dad printed it out, and he brought it to me. And he and he was like, "What, what the fuck you did? Look what you did!" <laughs> I know. Oh, I was oh. just looking around eBay the, a few weeks ago, and there's a Ewok trading card with Lisa's signature on. Nice. And you should totally do that. You should get like a bunch. You know, as you can see, I collect Funko Pops. You should get a bunch like Ewok Funko Pops or like Ewok action figures and autograph them and put them on eBay. I swear to God, they'd sell for like. Oh shit! You know, hundred bucks. Well, the cards. What are the cards selling for? Like sixty bucks? Oh, bucks? I. It may have been <laughs> up to a hundred. And I mean, and, yeah. and and the bidding was still going on. So wow. <laughs> they still, uh, they still contact me to do Make a Wish, mm. and they still. <laughs> 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 and and they still contact me to go do the the expos. <laughs> and, and that's when my and your good was friend like, and you know Mark Hamill and his son. I know Mark Hamill now. Yeah. <laughs> like when I had cancer, uh Mark Hamill sent me a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he did um, it through. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh the make of yeah. <laughs> My parents, when they were like, because I was like, I'm not going to go do that. I can't go visit a kid in the hospital. And they're like, you're going to go visit a kid in the hospital because you did this. <laughs> Damn it. Well, it's your penance. Look at the punishment. <laughs> and you're going to wear the Ewok outfit. <laughs> I have to go visit a sick kid. <laughs> Oh, How can you imagine a story going that far, though? Like... <laughs> <laughs> and we will talk about this on our podcast, and it's because it just shows. Yeah, you you say one thing at the one right thing. time, and it catches fire, and it makes kids cry. If you say yeah. it's not true, <laughs> I'm actually surprised it hasn't come up yet because we've had people submit questions. We've had quite a few, and it never comes up. Never. Comes well, up. that's funny because well, I was like, that one's too obvious. Yeah. Like that was that right. was you know I've sent in a couple to you guys and that was now that one's way yeah, too obvious. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I went on. So there's a sports station here that's huge. It's the biggest station of any you know music whatever. It's a sports station. It's the biggest radio station here in town. And I went on their station because they were like, we need you to come on and talk about there. We're a huge Star Wars fan. We need you to come on and talk about it. <laughs> and my best friend who's a minister was like, you need to come clean on this shit. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like okay, I'm going to go on and I'm going to yeah. in, in front of all of these people tell the story. And I did. And they were like, I told them exactly yep. how it went down and how it, why it happened and why it got fired. And they're like, whatever. <laughs> no, no, no. She's an Ewok. No, no, no. Yeah. They, they didn't believe it. They couldn't hear it. They thought I was, they thought I was pulling their leg and joking around oh, with them because I didn't want to sign their Star Wars stuff. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am like, sending just tell you us. all my Star Wars stuff to sign. <laughs> that is 
I am doing it. I, you know, you put it all in a box. I don't know if it'll fit all in a box. <laughs> there would be kids. There would be kids standing outside um, by our tour bus, and they would have posters with everybody's signature on it. It would be Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford and all of the really big dudes. Everyone was signed, and they were like, "You're the only one I'm missing." And I was like. <laughs> You're not really missing this one. And I told you. You know what, though? You know the fucked up thing? I'll bet that poster's worth more <laughs> than the other posters. <laughs> but I, I told this one kid, I was like, dude, and I told him the truth, and I was like, I can't sign that. I can't sign that. This is worth so much money, and all these people that I love are on here, mm-hmm. and I don't, I'm not supposed to be on there because I was not an Ewok. And, um, and, uh, my tour manager came back and got me. He was like, would you go sign this fucking kid's poster? He's out there crying. He fucking made that kid cry. Go sign his poster. Like, God damn it. And he gave me a Sharpie and I went out there and uh, and the kid was like out there bawling. <laughs> and so I was like, give me the poster and let me sign it. And he was like, thank you so much. I thank you so much. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And it was like, seriously, when I was signing, I was looking up, I was like, I, th- I'm i not supposed to be signing this. He's like, oh. just sign it. And I was like, all right. Oh, uh, is oh. War- uh, Warwick Davis ever emailed you and been like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no. no, but one of the, one of the um, expos in New York, I was supposed uh. to sign with Warwick. They were going to fly me to New York. Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been great. I'd gone just so you'd be like, hey, so who the fuck are you? Yeah, I know. And I thought about doing it. I, mean, I really yeah. did. And they're like, uh, and they were like, just tell us how much you want per signature. Because these people have to pay to stand in line. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, but a trip to New York around Christmas time would be really awesome. Really cool. And I could get some change. And they're like, yeah, it'll be you and Warwick. And I was like, eh. <laughs> I probably should. In like different rooms because that no <laughs> no <laughs> no it was like you pay money to go get Ewoks to sign your Ewok signatures <laughs> Ewok on that and I will be like like a giant compared to this. Right. <laughs> they have this big hulking lady <laughs> sitting in a chair next to a, a little oh. person. <laughs> You know what? There's probably some Star Wars fanboy out there that has created that greed on the mm-hmm. entire Star Wars movies to throw your name in the credits. Sure. I'll bet you there's um, one out there that like Lisa didn't get her credit on this one. I'm right. I am right, making there's this a shit lie right. About that too, because there's a whole lie about that. And uh, yeah. Now so, I don't know if y'all even know this, but there is a particular Ewok that is supposed to be Lisa. It's the one that dies. Oh, is oh. It, is that the, Do you remember that one? Nice. The one with the blast, like yeah, flies yeah, back. that gets hit. Yeah, yeah that gets hit by the at, at, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, and oh. and um and the other Ewok wow. will, goes over to it and is rocking it in his arms. Mm. That's me. I'm the dead one. <laughs> oh, you're the I'm the Ewok who dies. And those cool. suits cause all sorts of rashes. I bet they do, especially when you're gonna rock like that and drag mm-hmm. across the field. Being shot by an ant. <laughs> does it does it almost oh. feel like you've been adopted into a QAnon narrative? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I can't get out of it. I tried so hard to get out of it, and it's like <laughs> you're, you're, it's going to be featured on like an episode of War with Aaron Mank. Like in that. <laughs> well, I mean, the only uh, difference was she was an right. Ewok. <laughs> right, except Mark Hamill now is telling everybody I was. <laughs> he was so high, he probably doesn't even uh, remember. Uh, but, but he knows the story and he thinks it's hilarious, so he tells everybody I was. So. That's awesome. Right on. I just saw him in uh, Burt Kreischer's movie. It was so good. Oh. Um, in The Machine. Yeah. Machine. yeah. I love Mark. I love Mark. He's uh, so good. Hmm. Absolutely. We're gonna right, try guys. and get him. We're gonna try and get him on our show. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Yes. And if not him, his son Griffin. So. Okay. Cool. I, There's your. Well, I mean, network us in when you're done. Yeah. 
network us in. <laughs> we would love, yeah, some part of the network. Talk to Wicked Apple <laughs> Media, give them a pitch for us so we don't have to write it up. <laughs> right? <laughs> you just gotta vouch, right? Just say, I am an Ewok. Right. And then go listen. <laughs> uh, so, next Wednesday, next episode coming out, full episodes now. Full episodes. Yeah, full episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a there really cool change. Many. Yeah, it yeah. really was. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was it was more it was more like, of a pain in the butt trying to come up with little small things, rather right, than right? Just doing the full episodes, so yeah, yeah. Just record like if you're aware of a clock. I don't know. I think for me, mm -hmm. it doesn't help. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and we found our rhythm. How long did it take mm -hmm. you all to really find your rhythm? How many episodes? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, a few. Like, I, yeah. if you go to the early episodes, we do sound a little more clunky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, we've been well, doing this for what? How, how long have you been? Four years? Me, yeah, 19. Yeah. That's when wow. we started. So. Wow. Four years. Four years. Not a dime. That's, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> And we, you know what? That. We kind of took off the summer. So this was yeah. us kind of getting yeah. worked back yeah. into it. So this is us, you know, kind of shaking off the rust. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate yeah. doing that with us. I, I do feel more uh, broken in than. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> what funny hey, thing anyway, happened. Guys. One funny thing happened that I got to share. Um, okay, okay. Our oh, poor production crew, our production mm -hmm. crew has to edit all of our shit down, <laughs> which, Matt, I know you, you uh, can sympathize with this. Okay. And so the other day, they were like, we just want you to hear how it sounds when it's unedited. And mm -hmm. um, Charles and I have never laughed so fucking hard because we did like a, what was it, like a, 10 minute tangent about yeah. tomatoes and i think they were want they were wanting us to hear it in order to know that we were rambling too much but we ended up loving it <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> and, and so we want to take the outtakes now and we're like tomato mm. talk is pretty fucking awesome so we want to, we want to take the outtakes and we're making them edit those into where we talk about the bad things that were the things they said are bad that they have to edit out and now we're going to do a whole um episodes of outtakes that we think right. are funny yeah yeah i love that shit oh yeah. we can really we talk about beef steak and cherry tomatoes <laughs> non-stop <Right. laughs> well, but you know what the, i think those are the most fun moments and yeah. i also yeah. Well, the funny I the funny it. thing was is that it all originated because we uh, we were telling the story of the Toto drummer, who you who <laughs> died from insecticide poisoning, with his garden, mm -hmm. and well, we talked about three minutes about the Toto drummer and ten minutes about cherry and beefsteak and uh, yeah. <laughs> Tomato. I think that's the endearing shit. That's my opinion. But, and yeah. tomato comfy. Comfy, sure. yeah. 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 yeah people, you know, people can get the Rolling Stone stories anywhere. They can't get how you feel about tomatoes. Right. Well, they come it's true. on the internet. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Once in a they lifetime kind of thing. It's an exclusive. It's, it's what you need to look at. How, how Charles feels about tomatoes. That's right. What do I, I like, like them tomatoes. on? What do I like as a, yeah, yeah. yeah. People love Richard. Oh. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I will tell you my, uh, you just a quick story I got to express as I was almost, I told Lisa as we were warming up, I almost got killed by a tree this week. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I, uh, okay. So, I walked out. I, I'm taking lunch about 9.30 in the morning. I work on the East Coast online, so it's about 10.30. So, I, you know, God, like, it was the first day. I mean, you guys know with this heat wave, the summer is hot as balls. Like, yeah. All year. It, was like the, it was like the first day that it was like maybe 77, you know, like oh. almost. And it was like, oh. You know, nice. I walked outside. I'm like, okay, I'm going to work at the gas station. I'm just get myself gear and, you know. Stepped outside and I was like, oh, what a beautiful day. Went to yawn like that. And like, right when you're like sucking in that yawn, mm -hmm. this giant leaf, uh, like a maple leaf, the size of like a 
you know, a napkin like lands on my mouth and right when I draw it's like and I, I immediately <laughs> inhale it down like into my throat. Oh shit. Yeah. It's and I, and right there by the end I don't have great balance anyway, but I'm standing there right in the sidewalk. And it, it's just funny how like thoughts flash through your head really fast. Like the first thing I thought mm-hmm. is like surely like a hitman is behind me throwing a bag over my head and he's trying to kill me. And <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but he's just, you know, click click click. He's like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? I fell over coughing, hacking, spit it out, and there's the leaf, and then I puked, and I crawled back inside. I mean, I had to crawl in my house for like 30 minutes and couldn't leave again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. And it was just like, you know, my biggest regret, though, was not getting all the way to the end of the driveway where the, the mm-hmm. camera was. <laughs> yeah. Because I would have loved to have shared that. It was awful. Um, like, you should re-enact it. Very... <laughs> no. <Re-enact> it. <laughs> I, yeah. I and I do. I was joking with with my daughter Grace here. I was like, I have post traumatic leaf disorder now because like I go out the door <laughs> and I see it like. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you and cover like, your mouth when you yawn. Right? When you yawn, <laughs> lesson <laughs> learned. I fucking tell you that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Was telling me. yeah, it was God. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that's my horror story for the week. That's I thought bad. you were gonna say a tree <laughs> fell over. Huh? I think it was. I thought you were said that you were gonna tell us that a tree fell over and almost hit you. Oh no, 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 no it's it just a leaf. leaf. <laughs> yeah, here's its leaf. Yeah, I didn't hit a tree or hit like it was the leaf just tried to kill me. Damn. Uh, yeah, it was awful. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And all my friends of his were like a boss. <laughs> Look at you go. Yeah. Like, was there anyone there that could have done the Heimlich? No, no, absolutely. See? Not. That would have been no. a horrible death. What a way to yeah. die. Yeah. Yeah. If like my, because my, my family was not you know, so they would have just found me. Uh, it would have been like Science of the Lambs and they pulled a leaf out of my mouth. Right. Like, uh, what does this mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, stuffed a leaf down his throat. <laughs> I would have done this. There's a He's leaf serial change. killer. <laughs> it was murder. It was Steve. <laughs> I know it was He's Steve. trying to change. Like the leaves are changing. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Be careful out there, kids. Yeah. <laughs> we'll stay indoors we'll when it's the fall. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I am. I'm yeah, indoors. Uh, uh, <laughs> we did, you know, we did the rapture we missed again. I was so yeah. Uh, yeah. disappointed. The, the uh, computer chip activation from the yeah. vaccine. Oh, yeah. Missed that. Mm-hmm. Um, Boring. Yeah, we're missing all the good stuff. <laughs> We are. Really are. We don't want to keep you guys on all night. Yeah, we could seriously do this all night. We could do this all night. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And if we get together someday, I'm sure we will do this all night. Oh, man. Oh, we have to. We do have to get together. (sighs) We got to get down there. We got to get down there. Well, we got to come over here. We got to go to yeah. Stephenville. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll all go to Stephenville. <gasps> that would be awesome. Road yeah. trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to show uh, some love to the Winchells. We haven't mentioned them in yes, this episode. Yeah. I think Whoa. we should give them a little bit of love. <laughs> Matt and Jen. Yeah. Matt and Jen, what up? We love, love you guys, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mad love, mad love. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're doing family stuff tonight, probably. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. They got a baby. Yep. Yep. Well, we love you guys. We love sure. y'all. Yeah, love you all. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I, I don't want to wait this long next time. No. Yeah. Uh, sooner next time. We're going to talk more. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, there'll absolutely. be some kind of controversy and we'll come on and we'll. Yes. Uh, well, we can totally make one up. It. That's the totally. part. Those are even better. <laughs> the made up kind, the jackalopes are even better. Right. Yeah, we can oh, start yeah. our own conspiracy network. I think that would. Oh be fun. man, see, and you guys keep mm. asking us questions because uh, you're about the only people who are. 
<laughs> they are great. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll give them a different name or something. Oh yeah, when I hear them say no. this, uh, yeah. this one comes from Peter Swelling. Yeah, and he is. <laughs> this one, whenever I hear him say this one is from John, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That was, uh, yeah, I was probably air chair. out of that. I think John, did you have a, a uh, air for Lisa? Huh? I got an air out of Lisa immediately when uh, <laughs> her name was brought up. Yeah. We have, yeah. Uh, show. we have a question from John named Dare. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. shit. I love that. Uh, Okay. Have a good Saturday night. Absolutely. Jack of Tales. Check it out. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday, four episodes now. Amazing podcast. Uh, good thank Lisa you. And Charles thank you, guys. Fromm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, thank Appreciate you. y'all so much. Thank you so good. much. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. We'll hey. get together soon. Right right. Right. Definitely. Yes. All right. Take care, y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.